Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So sorry I have been MIA for just a little bit of time now. Um, having a baby and doing YouTube and doing anything but the baby thing is so hard and learning to get that balance right is something I am still learning. So I'm back. I am Nick, welcome. If you are new here, make sure you are subscribed. Get that notification bell turned on. Come over and follow me on Instagram at goodlucknick as well. This is a bit of a catch up. This is literally just a bit of a what's been going on, where you been girl, kind of chat. So hi, I... I have just come back from holiday, hence the wheel turn. Um, we've just been to Crete for Jax's first holiday, which was amazing. You can see all his weaning stuff to wash up there. We've started weaning. He's six and a half months now. Time is flying. Um, yeah. It is, it is going. I feel like I'm really, not that I've figured it out, but I'm, I'm learning that I need to get the balance right in my life again. I was doing really well getting back into my exercising and training and, you know, doing something for me again. And then it all went tits up, essentially. So I've got to find time for me to get back onto my business stuff my positively coco and there's another little project i've got bubbling in my mind or and i've sent a couple of little emails out about it so please keep your eyes peeled over on my good luck nick and positively coco instagram pages for that i feel inspired i've been away i feel like i need to get the balance right like i say for my life again get my business back off the ground um get my fitness back off the ground because that is literally horizontal on the floor flat as a pancake um, and I really want to it was something that I was so passionate about before I had jacks um, and obviously I did vlog about it on here so if you have watched my older videos you will have seen that in the past that um, that was something that was a huge part of my life so yeah getting back to that is something I really want to fit into my life again and also obviously getting back on my content creating so YouTube and Instagram more frequently and yeah just sharing again our life and our travels and how we're doing with like our weaning stuff and general parent family life and chit chatting so yeah that's the plan my mum recently retired, so she now has more time to, say, have jacks for me a morning a week or a morning here and there, so I can get those things done. So I'm really grateful that I'll be able to have that time back for myself again. Um, because I think when you become a parent, you don't realise that... Before you become a parent, you don't realise that when you are a parent, literally, everything revolves around them and... Uh, your energy just gets sucked into that and so rightly so but the fact that Jax doesn't sleep well I've spoke about this a lot on my Instagram so if you're over there you'll know about this um sorry I'm just making lentils bear with me one second we are good we are good um yeah so Jax doesn't sleep well and that had really hindered my like process to do anything other than being a mum because my energy was zapped I felt like nights were really hard so when it did come to the days I was so busy just surviving that to do anything creative or you know exercising or really doing anything was super tough um, and I think a lot of people find that because I think a lot of people give up on their passions when they become parents and generally it's through the lack of energy and the lack of support and the lack of time um so i'm gonna try and rectify that in my own life before i talk more about like how to how to get out of that you know while still being a really good and present parent because that obviously is number one um 
I'm breastfeeding still, so six and a half months exclusively breastfeeding, um, apart from now the weaning of the food as well. He's never had formula, and I feel really proud of that. Um, no, not knocking bottle feeding, not knocking exclusively pumping, I'm not knocking uh, formula. I think it's really cool. Um, but for me, I am really proud of being able to breastfeed. I didn't know whether I'd be able to do it. Obviously, I've got PCOS again. See previous videos. Um, and they do say that your supply can be a little bit funny with breastfeeding. I knew that that could have caused problems with breastfeeding and I went into it kind of thinking, if I can, I will. If I can't, no worries. Um, and thankfully I could and yeah, it's working because he's a big boy. <laughs> um, I feel really proud of that. So yeah, he's doing really well. Uh, Jack's has, since we've spoke last, we all had COVID. That was back in June, July. That was rubbish. Um, it kind of felt like a rough cold. Not a rough cold. Yeah, a bit of a rough cold for us. Obviously, it was worse having Jack's because when he was poorly, we didn't know what to do. We couldn't have any support because we were isolating. Uh, we did lose our sm smell and taste for about two to three weeks as well, which was the most bizarre thing. I've never once... You know when you lose your smell and taste slightly when you're um when you've got a cold it's so weird compared to that because there's literally nothing there is no there's nothing even like when you brush your teeth you eat something spicy you don't know you don't know you don't even know and it's you can't explain it unless you've had it and i think lots of people have had it now so um yeah but we're double jabbed and we are over covid and we haven't got any long covid symptoms which is great um what else has been going on oh jack's had bronchitis as well that was crap um so i'm feeling my heart goes out to anyone that's got poorly babies because that was a rough couple of weeks if anything the bronchitis was worse than the covid um but thankfully we could have help because we didn't need to isolate but yeah it was a uh, rough um Weaning's going well, a vlog coming very soon on that. That is all edited and ready to go, but I wanted to have a little quick chit chat with you first um, and just say, hey, I'm back before I put that out there. Um, what else has been going on? Just been on holiday again, vlog's coming soon. Um, last night was the first night we've put Jax into his own room. Um, we got up six times with him in the night, don't get me wrong. But he slept in his own room. I'm going to stir the lentils again. Um, yeah, so he went into his own room. We did get up six times. Because he doesn't sleep well, I have to... While we were on holiday, he was feeding every two hours. So he got up every two hours to feed because he's still in that routine at the moment. Um, and then in between that, we do put his dummy in. But if he loses his dummy or if he stirs, he needs the dummy put him back in. He can't do that himself just yet. Um, so we did have to go in a couple of times and do that as well. But it was no, there's no hysterical moments, which was great because we did go through a patch where he was hysterical in the night for no reason whatsoever. Oh, I'm going to do a whole video on this, but we found out he had silent reflux, took him to a cranial osteopath, best thing ever. Um, that helped out, that helped him so much. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a whole video on that because I think that's a really interesting talking point because I've had lots of questions on that on Instagram. Um, but yeah, that was interesting. And the osteopath really helped. That's all I'll say on that for now. Um, have we got anything else to say? I think that's pretty much all I'm going to say right now because everything else is covered in other videos. But yes. Yeah. I'm back. I'm going to be more frequent with my posting. I've put a question box on Instagram recently to see what kind of videos people want to see. So please, if you have any other suggestions on what kind of videos you want to see, let me know in the comments below. I will leave it there and I will see you very soon on the next vlog. Catch you all on the next one. Almost forgot my line then. <laughs>